rest of Saturday is going to be dry, but by Saturday evening, the rain is going to start to build in. So it's a good thing that that event is not on Sunday or it would be very muddy. All right, some of us were sunny today. Other of us, others of us were stuck in the fog and the clouds. This is a shot from UCSD in La Jolla of those cloudy skies. And visibility is still not great in some areas, mostly along our coastline, but Oceanside, even Kearney Mesa, Carlsbad, visibility is between two and two and a half miles. We're going to be dealing with that fog on and off as we head into tonight and again tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind for your morning commute tomorrow. Temperatures, it was warm this afternoon. It's pretty comfortable for our inland neighborhoods, still in the mid 60s for many of us, but Kearney Mesa, La Jolla, Del Mar, Carlsbad, Oceanside, Vista, all in the 50s. But when you look at the rest of the country, not so bad. Sioux Falls right now feeling like 10 below. If you recall last night, I was showing this. They were over 30 degrees below zero for that feels like temperature. It's feeling like 22 all the way down in New Orleans. Tomorrow's going to be another fair weather day. We'll see the thick clouds some patchy fog in the morning, a mix of sun and clouds into the afternoon. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s along our coastline and pretty close to 70 for most of our inland neighborhoods. Escondido at 70, Poway at 69. Meanwhile, El Cajon and Fallbrook at 67 degrees. Santee, I think you're going to be the warm spot once again at about 71 degrees. So I'm tracking a couple of storm systems. This first one right here is very weak. It's mostly staying to the north of us. That's going to bring us a small chance for rain. It's this next larger storm system that is going to be bringing the impact this weekend. So let's start with the first one. So here's your Tuesday afternoon. You can see those clouds hovering along our coastline spreading inland as we head into tomorrow morning. Then as we head into the afternoon, a lot of areas will clear out to sunny skies before the clouds return as we head into tomorrow evening. Late Wednesday night into Thursday morning, there is going to be the possibility of anything from mist, drizzle, sprinkles to a few light showers. Accumulations, if any though, will be fairly light. That's system number one. There it goes. Now we're tracking this larger system that is going to be centered farther to the north of us, but we're expecting widespread rain. Accumulations at this time are still pretty uncertain, but expect rain. We are definitely going to be getting rain with this system. This is Saturday at 11 o'clock. Shower activity is building. Sunday is when we're going to be seeing on and off rain throughout the day. That continues through the day on Monday. Sunday and Monday could both be a wash as far as any outdoor plans go. Shower activity tapers off during the day on Tuesday, then we're drying out on Wednesday. Temperatures will be dropping, but it's a relatively warm storm. We're generally staying in the 60s into next week for the coastal areas. Inland neighborhoods closer to 70 degrees through the end of the work week, dropping to the mid 60s as that rain rolls in this weekend. For the mountain and desert areas, pretty gusty winds coming through tomorrow. Westerly winds 25 up to 45 miles per hour. No snow expected with this next storm system. It is relatively warm and the deserts are even going to get rain with the system Sunday, Monday and early Tuesday.